Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. Episode 211. It is Tuesday here in Cincinnati. It is so pretty outside. The temperature dropped, so it was about 50 degrees this morning, and I think it's going to 80. And so when I got up to go outside, it was gorgeous. (laughs) It was so good. I went for a run. I actually had a long sleeve shirt on, and it was just the prettiest, prettiest morning. The sun is shining. I have the windows open so you can hear the birds coming in. (laughs) It's really sweet here in Cincinnati today. (sighs) Yeah, so um, (laughs) I hear the birds. (laughs) They're a little distracting. They're so happy and just singing their song outside. (laughs) All right, today we are going to talk about, I guess, dreams dreams, manifestation, wishing, creating, (laughs) allowing, receiving, (laughs) you know, all that. On Sunday night, my husband and I were watching uh, one of those island hunter shows. They have this great uh, theme on Sunday on HGTV, I think that's the channel, where people who are wanting to buy either a home on an island or an island or (laughs) something beach related, they have these shows where they help people find different options. And so sometimes we turn that on and it's amazing because one, I love the beach and two, it shows you places that perhaps you've never seen before. And it's always just exotic and gorgeous and so much fun to see on the TV, no matter what the weather is here in Cincinnati, a beach is always beautiful to look at. So my husband had one on and I was sort of half watching, half working on some stuff on paper and I'm, and the couple that they were featuring had ten mil, ten million dollars to spend. I had to say that twice. Let's say it a third time. Ten million dollars <laughs> they wanted to spend. <laughs> so we were so that caught my attention, and I started watching it more. And they were showing different islands. Oh, where was it? Off of the coast, the coast of Belize. I think that's where it was. Off of the coast of Belize. I could be wrong, but I think that was the location. So they're showing literally islands, like whole islands that this couple wanted to buy. And the couple was from Vegas. I think their plan was to open a resort and make some money and have it be like an investment where they would be, you know, having people come and stay on their island. And so they showed this first one completely uninhabited, gorgeous. It would need to be totally built from scratch but the beaches were white and the water had, as the one person said, 10 shades of turquoise and blue. I mean, absolutely pristine, beautiful land in the middle of this gorgeous ocean. So that was one option. And I think it was like two or three million and then they'd have to do all the work to set it up. And then they showed him another island which had completely already established and running and functioning a resort and it was gorgeous. It had this beautiful pool with this waterfall and all these little cabana sort of buildings, each one just so, so pretty inside and natural wood. I mean, it was just amazing. And then a dive shop and <laughs> it was just this little paradise. So I think that island was like six million and they were able to um, just walk right in and have all the staff and everything be ready to go and it would be a fully functioning immediately making money operation for them. And then there was a third one. Um, I think it was just smaller. (laughs) Isn't that funny? I don't remember that one as clearly. I think it was just some smaller little cabanas. It had some stuff on it, but it wouldn't be very big or functional right away. They'd have to keep expanding on it. 
So we're watching, my husband and I are getting more interested as we're looking at these options because they're so beautiful. And so they have this part where they show the couple having a conversation. You know, in those HD shows, HGTV shows, there's the dialogue where they have to look at the different options and then narrow it down. And there's always a little bit of drama that comes through. Well, this time they're showing this man and his wife and they're talking about the options and she loves the one that's unfinished and beautiful and just this incredible land and but also she can see the value of having a resort that could make money and so he's talking about that with her and then they sort of look at each other and she's like I don't know what to do and out of nowhere he says let's get both <laughs> and my husband and I almost fell off the couch we're like what did he just say what what did he say <laughs> and she kind of did the same thing. I don't think he had talked to her about it before he said it. He kind of looked at her. She looked at him. She's like, what? He's like, well, let's protect the one that's so beautiful and buy the one that's functioning. And then we can do excursions from the one that's functioning over to the beautiful one. And then we'll have both. <laughs> it was amazing. They did. They bought both because he has $10 million and you can do that. <laughs> so he bought both of these islands. And they do the three month later update at the end of the show where, you know, he's playing games with his kids and they're about to get on the uh, wave runners and go over to their other island. <laughs> Looking really happy, <laughs> really satisfied. <laughs> so, this is a very long share, but <laughs> it was just such a fun expansion for my husband and I to, to see this man just say, I'm going to get both islands. <laughs> So we've talked about it a few times since then. You know, when we went to bed after the show, we're like, whoa, that's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's get both. <laughs> and then last night it came up again. We were talking about it again. <laughs> I'm like, Let's just get both. <laughs> get both islands. Why not? <laughs> oh, so good. So today when, when I was meditating and just feeling like, what's the... What's the energetic possibility that I feel, you know, right now in our journeys? We had this wormhole that I explored that opened last week, according to the astrologers and what I feel to be true for myself also. And so we're going to be going through this expansion process over the summer and then coming out the other end of the wormhole in a whole new uh, time, dimension, reality, possibility, whatever words you want to use. A whole new energetic space. And so when I was tuning in today, I'm like, what? What's the feeling collectively that's available for us, you know, as souls in human bodies right now on this planet that is energetically based? Energy matching like energy. What's possible? <laughs> and immediately that scene came to mind of this beautiful man going, let's take both. <laughs> so it feels... It feels, like, um, it feels like a feeling to hold inside of our bodies. So just imagine, imagine for a moment inside of your physical body. If you can, you can close your eyes and just kind of play along with me. Imagine how it would feel inside of your heart, inside of your stomach, right? Our stomachs, they are the digestive system of our physical body. They hold ideas for us to digest and then nourish ourselves with. It's also the location of the energetic third chakra, which is who I am. Who am I here to be in this lifetime and how am I going to express who I am here to be? So if you feel your heart chakra desiring something amazing like both islands, <laughs> and then you feel your third chakra right underneath your heart chakra, steady and strong, knowing you have the resources to create, to, to receive whatever it is that your heart chakra is desiring. Feel this, the steadiness, the expansion, the size of your third chakra getting a little bigger. Feel how you can even match what that beautiful man was modeling to us through the show. Right? It's no coincidence that my husband and I watched that specific episode at that specific time in our journey. It's a vibration that is being revealed to us or showed to us so that we can expand within ourselves. So feel how he must have felt knowing he had the resources 
inside of his bank account, <laughs> inside of his possible realms of creation, he had the resources to say, I can do both. And so because my heart desires both, I claim both. And then feel right underneath your third chakra. So go below your stomach and down into your second chakra. This would be from your belly button to like right where your hip bones bend when you're sitting in a chair. Yeah, so the second chakra, it's about receiving, allowing. Our heart desires this magical experience or, or creation. Our third chakra says, yes, yes, I'm ready to claim that. And then our second chakra lights up with brilliant orange and says, I'll take it, please. <laughs> I'm willing to receive that, please. Bring that into my experience, please. <laughs> Yes, we'll take both islands. You feel how solid the alignment is from heart chakra to third chakra to second chakra. And then as you imagine yourself like sitting, your, your root chakra is your bottom, your tailbone, your sexual organs. It's the whole base of your hips, your seat. So you are seated, strong, ready to receive what your heart desires. It's all of those chakras lined up. Root, second, third, fourth. So feel how that entire structure of your body energetically and physically can just stretch a little bit wider right now. Why? Because this beautiful couple is giving us an example of what is possible. And it's not even about the money or the islands. It's the knowing that I have the resources to claim what it is that my heart desires. That's an expansive feeling inside of our bodies. And then we get to play with it in whatever ways are in alignment for our lifetime, our human journey, this moment, the relationships we are in. So you relax your muscles and you allow the expansion to be energetic first. When you have that feeling inside of you, then it's a lot easier when you're in conversation with someone and they're asking you if you want this or that. You can say, hmm, what would it take for us to do both? Or to receive both or to allow both? To create both? This is what I'm moving through myself this summer, right? Can I actually have a festival and do my regular life and create the other things that I do? Yes, absolutely. It's a feeling inside of me that expands, an energetic that takes up more space in my world, and then the physical manifests around it. Yeah, so you play with this uh, gentle expansion of first, second, third, fourth chakras from your hip bones all the way up to your shoulder blades. Just visualizing energy radiating from the center of you wider, 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 a little bit more every day or a little bit more each moment you're aware of it. Steady and strong. And then as your heart starts to desire something, there's a little message that goes from the heart all the way down. Fourth, third, second root. Did we get the message? <laughs> Right? Let's do both. Let's have both. What would it take for us to allow both into our experience? And soon your capacity is growing. And so then you can create new things that have never been created before because you have more resources energetically inside of you and then physically manifesting around you. And so it's this beautiful game. This beautiful game that we play with ourselves and it's just fun to watch <laughs> can we can we have both <laughs> hell yeah it's gonna be so much fun you just picture that man with his wave runners and his family and they're just bopping over the waves to go to their little second island why because they can because <laughs> life is good and that's what we're supposed to be experiencing these incredible manifestations of more of abundance of play of joy all right you have an assignment apparently your assignment is to practice this feeling of expansion from the center of you out from the root chakra all the way up to the heart chakra gentle expansion more and more and more
Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. I invite you to join me in aligning with the optimal health of your mind, body, spirit in the virtual community of Viv's Energy Gym. You can learn more at mysouljourney.com. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours.